with the girl of my dreams on a week So I sleep and I see my reality Battle me, that's your fatality Actually, I'm a catastrophe Go to your school and they ask for me I'm in your class making cash And we fruity like passion It's burning like ashes We had to just make this ish happen He rapped what is good, Budget Fan? It is your boy, Sneakerhead on a Budget, one of the hardest working sneakerheads on YouTube. Go give me a like, share, and subscribe, and it definitely helps the algorithm because YouTube be holding us down out here. Damn! Alright, so boom, guys. So, aside from everything going on with the releases going on, exclusive access, it looks like there's a little hiccup with Nike. It looks like FedEx and Nike have a big issue. Employees are drivers are actually still in pairs from people and that's a huge problem um that's not fair to anybody who purchases you as well as what's going on and people are not waiting it's already a big delay with nike getting stuff out but just the fact that stuff is getting stolen now it's crazy and i remember seeing a video where the guy said um i don't know if you guys remember somebody stole his unions and they just threw it at the door and he has the video image and then it's thrown at the door empty box and all what would you do it is show you the video a buddy dropping the shoes off at the door oh, by the open flap bro i don't know who who broke in the box but you left me some dna my boy i can't make any or girl bro i need some i need some straight and it's like dang man People can't even get shoes out here without FedEx trying to steal them. Dude was caught red-handed. And so there's so many things going on. Um, I have a friend recently and locally. Um, guys had some issues with the shoes as well. Um, apparently when they found his shoes, um, the shoe box was empty. He's going to do some investigation to figure out what's going on. And they found the shoes, but they found the shoes outside the box. So somebody took those shoes outside the box. Because they don't just miraculously open themselves out the box. I mean, out the shoe box and out the package. And then on the FedEx floor? Come on, y'all. So something's going on with that. Hopefully, hopefully my man gets his shoes. Because, you know, that's not even cool. But what is going on with FedEx, guys? What is going on? Oh, I'm talking about FedEx right now. I got packages, packaging stuff that's hanging out. Um, side plug. Um, sorry, for, sorry for the mess back here. Just been really busy today. I just started a promotion this week. That if you buy anything off my store at Central Valley uh, Soul and Vintage, that I will throw you a free gift. And so people have been buying shoes, and I've been throwing them the free gift. And the free gifts are actually nice. I'm giving them somebody jerseys. I'm giving people, like, tour tees. I'm giving you a bunch of stuff. So if you are looking for some dope shoes, hit up Central Valley uh, Soul and Vintage. Um, the eBay and Macari sites are down below in the links, uh, in, down in the bio, whatever you want to call it. And hit that up and definitely this week i am giving out the free merch free gear so definitely check that out but back to what we were talking about Damn! what is going on with that because that's not right i don't know if anything has happened i heard people are trying to make a a, a petition for fedex um to get nike to get a a new uh, provider but somebody else told me that they also use ups so honestly i don't know man it's it's really becoming an issue now i don't know why Cause I remember when, I, if you looked at my video, uh, I expressed how, and I expressed some videos prior. If you looked at any of my older videos, you would know that I was saying for the longest time that Nike needs to stop with the just do it the sticker on the boxes. Because this is indicated this is coming from Nike and you need to steal this. And so, uh, if you see my unboxing of the uh, off-white dunks, there was no tape on it whatsoever. So I don't know if Nike heard us and said, okay, we'll just get rid of tape altogether. That's not what we were saying. We we're saying deliberate, but put a different tape on it that doesn't show. Just do it. There's clear tape out there. <laughs> clear tape or just solid black tape exists. We just want to make sure that our stuff is secured without people knowing that it's from Nike and it can get stolen. So with this being said, it's hard to kind of stop that. If, if FedEx people, the people who are supposed to be delivering us our packages, are still in the products itself. There's people with delays. I mean, Travis Scott's are, uh, getting uh, and, um, shoes are coming up empty. It's a running gag now that, hey, you better double check your stuff. And honestly, when I got my unions, I mean my unions, I'm not going to keep saying unions. Honestly, when I got my dunks, I, I had my wife just double check, like just shake the box and make sure it felt like there was something inside. Even though that could have been done, they could have left me some dress shoes. It's just crazy how now we have to look out. Not only do you have to worry about actually getting the dub, you got to worry about the dub actually getting to your house. So you still don't get the dub yet until you actually confirm that you got your shoes in. And that shouldn't be the case, and that ain't right. 
So I don't know if you guys have experienced this or know anybody else who experienced this, but tell me about your experience in the comments below. Um, I've talked to a few people and it doesn't look like um, Nike does anything but give you your refund. Uh, I heard they say, oh, we're going to look into it and see if we can find another shoe in stock. But you just know it's not going to be in stock because it always hits you with the L um, on release day. So there's not going to be any additional pairs. So it's just like, okay, well, if I don't get my shoes, I get a refund. But like, you want the shoe, though. So, I mean, at the end of the day, well, I guess it's good that they're giving you your full refund. But you want the shoe. And especially when it's hard to get W's out there, uh, getting a refund doesn't suffice. And I get when people get all like, well, you're getting your money back. But it's like, dude, it's so hard to get a, a sneaker dub on Sneakers app. So when you get one, you kind of want to get the shoe. That's kind of like the victory, you know? So... What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about FedEx? And, and what do you think Nike can do to solve that? What do you think FedEx can do to solve that? Because that's a huge issue. If there's no trust in your company, um, no one's going to get shoes from there. Um, there's different things that somebody told me you can do. Um, somebody also told me to get your stuff sent to the store, the FedEx store, or a participating store where FedEx uh, does drop offs. Apparently, the driver number is indicated that it's going to that store and have to scan things in. So, if your thing appears in that store and it's empty, they know what driver had your stuff. So, I don't know if that's a tip you guys can use. That's something that I utilize when I get stuff sent from Nike. I have it dropped off on the, uh, at the place. So that driver's number and everything is indicated when they go to the spot. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but it, it, somebody told me it, who works in, uh, who used to work at FedEx, that, that that's what happens. So that's what I do, uh, just to show that I'll just drive to the store and pick it up if I know it's going to for sure be there. But, I mean, stuff is getting lost at the warehouse, and that's ridiculous, yo. So what do you guys think about this, man? What do you guys think Nike should do? What do you think FedEx should do? Do you have any experience? Let's talk about it in the comments. Also, let's be respectful. Again, it is your boy, Sneakerhead on a budget. Uh, don't forget to follow me on all of them social medias. Subscribe. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support in my last few videos. Um, I see it. I see the love. You guys are the best. Appreciate you. We're almost at a 1K, y'all. We're almost at a 1K game. So let's keep grinding it out. I appreciate you guys. Stick in the budget. We out. Hope you love all of my shit. I hope you love all of my shit.